Hello and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with Chaos Below. As you can see, I'm back here! This is for one simple reason. I'm a high enough level, and I have cane, so this it's actually worthwhile getting those items I didn't grab before. Plus also, I have two hourglasses now. Which means I can actually exploit that on both of the bosses. Like the Lamia. Although I'm gonna try fighting this like Okay, no I'm not. I'm just gonna use that. The hourglass. Cause remember before when I said that these guys are all weak in step? Well, I meant it. And if that actually works, it is a serious bitch. To say nothing of the random <coughs> confusion inducing that, that the Lamia likes to do. Oh hey, I poisoned it. Apparently the evil claw does that. Or whatever it was called. But from this battle I get... Wait for it! Wait for it. The Bloodlands! Which, as you might have guessed, is an item for Kane. Although I wonder... Nope. Okay. Oh, he's left-handed? That's awesome. Not only is this way more powerful than the Wind Spear, uh, although it does evidently cut down his defense a bit, but it actually gives him an attack that drains HP. Which is really worth it. And now, a silver hourglass. I have no idea what that does. <coughs> what does that do? Same effect as stop. Isn't that what the hourglass does? Oh. Short lifespan. <laughs> so silver hourglass is like the hourglass, but better. Anyway, and either. And, and either. And... Monsters! Mad Ogres, as you might have guessed from the name, are like ogres, but worse. They hit faster and harder than regular ogres. But they too are vulnerable to stop. They also have, like, 2,000 HP, so watch out for that. Oh, there's one thing I should note, though, about the Blood Lance. Do not use it against undead. They'll heal, and you'll take damage. That's the way any drain effect works. And, believe me, you don't want that to happen. You see, I probably could have actually done this without um, using the hourglasses, but I had them anyway, and honestly, I'm not going to have much of the opportunity to use them. And frankly, it makes it so much easier. You can probably get away with doing this um, earlier when it came here the first time. Uh, having said that, I didn't really didn't feel like struggling with it at the time. But if you feel like you're up for it, then go right ahead. Because it is doable, if really difficult. Hey, I learned Shell. A silver apple and a cider. And is there anything else down here? Nope, that's it. Okay, that's all I was doing for here, so I'll see you again in, I don't know, when I get to wherever I'm going next, which I really don't know. Uh, right now, actually. So, let's, so, yeah. See you in a few. Or at least you will. Howdy, y'all. This is Sid. And I'm just here to say welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV with Chaos Blue. Ha. Heh. <laughs> well, that was fun. Anyway, we are in... Agart. 
I'm not exactly sure who I need to talk to in Agar, but I know that this is how you get into the underworld. Behind this door lies a sacred well that has been here for generations. Its depth remains unknown. Well, this seems like as good, good a choice as any. It sure looks deep. Let's throw down the key to saving the world. <laughs> Did it without a second thought, didn't you, Cecil? Hope you like to swim in wells. What? What just happened? Yeah, you don't know anything. Neither do you. Um... Oh... I see. You have that? Yeah. Um, well, let's go down, I guess. Ooh, that's cool. Was that what I thought it was? The Red Wings! Um, is that us in the middle? I mean, the Red Wings are to the right. And who the hell has tanks? And where can I get some? They must have beaten us here. Who are they fighting? I'm gonna bust through the line! Hang on! She won't hold together. We're going down again. Really? That didn't take very long. Cecil. Oh, and for a second there, I thought we still had a ship. Rosa. Is everyone all right? Yeah, but my ship, we have to land. It's too risky in this condition. We have no choice. Let's take her down. Well, this looks promising. And into Dwarf Castle. Their moat is lava. Huh. Lally Ho! King Gareth rules the Dwarven Castle. Gulbez is evil. You don't look evil. Go see King Giot. You know, these dwarves are refreshingly straightforward. Now, where's their treasure? Wait, first. I'm Luca. My dolls disappeared. Have you seen them? It's a girl dwarf. Amazing. Lally ho! No! Important room! And... I, what do they sell here? Lots of stuff. But not much I'm interested in. I wonder. Money! Lally ho! No! Important room! I'm gonna say that every single time it comes up. Lally ho! Lally ho! No! Important room! Really, it's not gonna get old. Lally ho! Is the dwarven greeting. Together now! L one, two, three! 
Lally Ho! Oh, hey. Welcome! You are... I am King Gyat, ruler of the underworld. State your business. We've come in search of the dark crystals. <coughs> Again. What? Tieflings? Girls of wings? Ah, I see. You are like the others. But from what I have witnessed, I see you are not on their side. Sorry for the bad accent, but I have to do it, do it for at least one dwarf. And he is the king. <laughs> Where are the dark crystals? Have they been taken? They have stripped us of two. Now only two remain. One step too late. The castle's crystals is still safe. Our tanks fought them off. Yes, we saw your tanks. Battling the airships on our way here. Airships, you call them. The overworld creates many incredible wonders. Our tanks have taken quite a beating. Can you help us with your airship? Honestly, we need a, we need a repair first. Okay, that's a little off. The attack, attack really busted her good. Again, it's the multiple accent syndrome. I can only do so many at once without getting mixed up. We will do an anything in our power to help you repair your airship. Ah, she won't last in the heat of this lava anyway. I'll make temporary fixes for now. Then fly her back to the surface and gather up some mithril to armor her better. Ugh. Sid! Do, just button up and relax. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful, Sid. <laughs> no worries, I'm a tough old man. Sid has left the party. Now, most of his stuff is completely replaceable. You might want to take his hammer off, though. I'm not even sure if anyone else can use it, but it's a really good hammer. So, and I'm pretty sure you can't buy a new one. So, if you're the prudent or cautious type, then we'll take his hammer off before you come into the castle. King Giot, where is the crystal? In the safest place in the castle, hidden behind my throne room. Yang, what's wrong? Someone is spying on us. What? Oh, you know what? It's totally his daughter. I mean, I was worried there for a second, thought it was a monster, but perhaps it was your imagination. I wish it were so, but I sense But I definitely sense a presence. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm gonna edit out of that coughing, to be honest. Open the door Yes, sire. It's a bunch of little girls. Yip ho ho! Dolls? Wait, do I do not like where this is going. I do not like where this is going at all. The last time I heard this music, I woke up in some back alley as a pig. It was not a happy day. Guess who? Kalkalbrenas! We're cute! And we're scary! We love to kill! Let's take their heads! Yeah! A gift for Golbet! <laughs> Yippee ho! Huh. 
Well, that happened. Um, I also didn't put Kane in the front row, but I'm not too worried about that. You know, what with the whole <coughs> jump thing. <coughs> oh, these don't seem to be too bad, actually. I mean, they're creepy as shit, but... They don't do too much damage, and they don't seem to have that much life. Oh, the blue ones have more life. Okay. <laughs> I just poisoned a doll. You know, let's go ahead and cure Cecil. So actually, when I was figure, trying to figure out where the passage to the Underworld was for this, I did look at a FAQ for it, because honestly... Well, actually, no, I had a pretty good idea it was here anyway, but it honestly just saved me time to just look it up. And for the record, I didn't look up anything else. Maybe I should have, but... Oh, that explains a lot. But anyway, as I was saying, um, what was I saying? Something about the FAQ? Right. In that FAQ, it said to be level 40 for, what was it? For the Magnetic Cave, which let me tell you is total bullshit. You can easily take on that cave well before you're level 40. Like I did. Hell, I'm still only around level 50. <clears throat> Energy stored for double attack power? Oh, he's confused. Um, let's see. There we go. Actually, though, I think it's an Echo Screen, so maybe I should use those, but whatever. But yeah, that thing is creepy, man. It's hard, too. Um, I don't really know what to say. Like I said, I actually really didn't look any further than how to get into the underworld. So, I honestly don't know how to handle this boss. I knew the thing for Sid, but I knew that ahead, uh, ahead of time. Um, I don't know. Just beat it till it's dead, I guess. Like I did with the last one. Not like there's really much flexibility for creative stuff, so... Although, I might... Um... It might be prudent to do this. Just maybe. Just maybe. The bright side is, it only seems to hit one- what? Okay, I think it was ineffective. I think it was ineffective. Uh, oh hey, it's dead now. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Not bad at all. Owie! Big bully. But Nuggle Bez knows about this place. He's gonna get ya. Circle Bez. Our paths cross again. Go Bez. I commend you for finding your way to the underworld. To reward your efforts, I shall tell you why I'm collecting the crystals. The eight crystals of light and dark are the keys to reactivating the Tower of Babel. Told you that's what it was called. Which leads to the moon. 
Legends say the moon possesses power beyond our comprehension. I need only one more crystal to materialize my dream. <coughs> you have been, been a great aid in my quest. Now prepare for your final reward. Okay, so, if you recall last time, it took a meteor, or he took a meteor to the face, and I did not even hit him. But yeah, last time, he took a meteor to the face. What? You can't <coughs> mess with... Um, yeah, I think it's fair to say I'm intimidated. He's intimidated the shit out of me. Farewell, Cecil. Wait, what? The Mist Dragon? What? The Shadow Dragon? Destroyed by mist? Are you okay? You can move now. Rydia! For the save. Um, yeah, you know what? Titan. But wait, what? That can't be Rydia. She's old and... Well, not old, but older. She's clearly no longer five years old. And, like, let's, um... Let's do that. Summon! Again! Um... But yeah, what- seriously, what's up with her being not dead? I mean... Well... No, she's alive, but everyone else survived too, so that's not really the issue here. This cannot- this cannot- yeah, he's gone. Okay. Everyone but Yang. Poor Yang. We did it! We've defeated Golbez! Rydia! What happened to you? Leviathan took me to the land of summons, a world of summoned monsters. We became friends during my stay. I learned a lot there. I can't use white magic anymore. But I've grown strong as a summoner. Time flows differently there, so I may have aged quite a bit. That explains why your appearance has changed. Cecil, is, who is she? It is the girl we found in Mist. Fortune favors us indeed. Rydia, we owe you our lives. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. The Queen of the Land of Summons said to me, A great force is secretly at work. We must confront it together. Summoner Rydia joins the party! Da -da 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 -da. <coughs> I cannot perish! Say what now? Okay, that's a floating hand. That's sort of weird. Also, don't just stand there, you idiot. Don't let it take the crystal. Way to go, Cecil. Way to go. <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. Every time we get something good, Cecil goes and blindly trusts a villain.
But hey, Rudia! Forgive me, Glovis has taken the crystal. One crystal left. We must protect it at all costs. Yes, where can we find it? In the sealed cavern to the southwest, where Golbez is hiding. Heading. Do not worry, he cannot enter without the key. I have a request. We will do anything. It is our fault the crystal was stolen. I want you to retrieve the seven crystals at the... Tower of... That what? I presume it will be fortified. By Golbez's forces, yes. It won't be easy. I... I got a plan. You will sneak in and seize the crystals while our tanks distract them. Oh, that's more than said. The plan must be executed immediately before Golbez returns for the sealed cavern. From. What do you think? A large, a large force might be waiting. It's a risk. <coughs> As they say, nothing mentored, nothing gained. As His Majesty says, now might be our only chance. All right. We'll go to the tower and reclaim the crystals. And I'm gonna cut off here, cause yeah, this is gonna be too long as it is. So until next time, this will be Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, Cast Blue. See ya!